Hi, Jim. So here we are at the link I sent you. It does have changed to English, but when you do it, it just keeps changing back. So I just do it in Portuguese. So the first, you have to click up here, top left, NVR. And then down here, it's Criar Envio de Carayo International. So Create International Parcel. So then you have to tell it. I usually do it Azul. You can do normal post. Azul is a little bit quicker and it's tracked. Then you tell it Eistrak Monetario, that it's outside the EU. Quantity of objects, one. Weight, just tell it a weight. It doesn't actually matter. They weigh it in the post office. Then it automatically, because I went over 100 grams, it automatically said it was goods and goods documents. So we continue on. Then it wants to know who's going to be sending. Fill out formula, that means. So you put in your own name and address, your NIF, your uh, everything here. Type of client, particular means you're a person, not a business. Portugal. You either have to give an email or a phone number and your postcode. If you make an account, you can, um, all this will be kind of filled in already. And they'll save the data so you don't have to do it every time. Oh yeah, there went the phone numbers are. I'm making up all this stuff. Okay, follow on. They want to, to landline as well. <laughs> okay. Emails and valid. Okay. Now we get to your person you're sending it to. Rhino Unido is UK. Oh my god, rewind it there. And again, just fill out their name and address postcode everything and either a phone number or a or an email okay follow on now if you have it says here what's the purpose of sending it so I sell goods but you probably won't be selling them but they don't really give you an option for that could say other nature of transaction yeah it will mean the person won't have to pay VAT if you get away with it I don't think the UK are too big on customs and VAT so I don't really know what to say there I just say sale of goods and then I tell it <coughs> one item <coughs> belt two euro and then you have to put in the same weight that you put in the last time. The first time, I mean. And just add that. Okay, so we've everything done. Confirm. And then down to the bottom again. Agree. And conclude. Now, what you've got here is your code. This little button here, generate the documents. So you have the option of getting just the barcode, the ticket, the doc, the customs document, or the whole thing. So I'm gonna just generate the whole thing. Open the file, and there it is. It has the customs thing, and then your address will be here, their address will be here, and they'll just scan this in the post office and you print that. That's it.